to make this I have taken a wooden piece and I have created 5 mm holes to put the 5 mm LEDs as you know the longer pin is positive and the shorter is negative the longer pin is outside and the shorter is inside and like this I have to put 20 of them now we have to connect these two pin the negative and the positive like this we have to connect them all I have connected two of them now this pin will be connected to here now connect one kilo ohms resistor with this connect other side of the one kilo ohms resistor take a BC548 transistor make this two pin like this and the base of the transistor that is the middle pin make it like this okay cut this and solder it in this position like this I have soldered all the transistor we need 21 of them the collector is connected to here base is this one and it is emitter now we have to connect all the emitters all the emitters are connected now we have to connect 10 kilo ohms resistor with the base of the transistor cut it like this now we have to solder it here and with all the base of the transistor we have to do the same I have soldered all the 10 kilo ohms resistor this is zener diode 4148 and black side is negative and other side is positive now what we have to do is we have to connect it like this and we have to connect in between all of the resistor I have soldered it BC558 it is PNP transistor you need another zener diode 4148 and you have to do it like this I have soldered the 558 transistor now what you have to do is you have to solder the diode in this the negative pin will be connected with the resistor and the positive pin will be connected to the base of the transistor we need 33 kilo ohms resistor and we need 47 microfarad capacitor we have to connect it like this okay here is negative side and it is positive side so make positive side like this now the positive side of the capacitor will be connected to the positive side of the zener diode and negative side of this capacitor will be connected to with this copper wire okay it will be connected like this here as you can see the positive side of the capacitor with the resistor is connected with positive pin of the diode and with the 10 kilo ohms resistor and this pin of the emitter and negative side is connected with this rail then we need one microfarad capacitor the negative pin of the capacitor will be connected to the middle pin of the potentiometer I have connected one pin of the potentiometer with this rail the value of the potentiometer is 10 kilo ohms this is how I have connected the negative pin of the capacitor to the middle pin of the potentiometer the positive pin of the capacitor is connected to the base of the transistor that is BC558 so this is how we have completed the connection connection is completed now we have to connect four wires with this two are for positive and negative and other two will be audio input
Now we have to use the last pin of potentiometer. And here we will connect the other pin of the speaker. This is one pin and this is another pin. This is for positive and the negative. Now we can remove To connect the audio, you have to take any kind of audio jack. It is 3.5 mm and it has three connections. So on the other side, you will get three wires. Ground, left and right. You have to select two wires from this. One is ground and you have to select either left or right. So ground will be connected to this copper wire left will be connected to the other pin of the potentiometer that is the yellow wire now i have connected all this connection now i'm playing the music This potentiometer is for sensitivity. By adjusting the potentiometer, you can increase or decrease the sensitivity. So guys, this is all for today. Thanks for watching.